Hi friends, uh, today's session is called Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth is a very easy set of exercise which is suitable for anyone. You can finish it in uh, two minutes or you can take it up to 10 minutes. It all depends on how many repetitions you are planning to do. You can uh, choose to do uh, four repetitions minimum and then go up to about 10 repetitions for each side assuming you're working your red, uh, right and left hand side. All right, let's get on with it. All right, it is called Fountain of Youth because it brings you youthfulness, right? So our joints play a big role in how we feel in our bodies. If joints are achy and rigid, we don't feel youthful. So Fountain of Youth aims at warming up all the main joints starting from neck and going downwards all right let's start with neck first all right bring your chin to the sternum and rotate it towards left inhaling and exhaling bring the head down back to the sternum inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down all right all this neck stretching or turning you can do in the spirit of as if you're stretching in the morning like this right with that spirit okay now we do it on the right side bring the chin to the sternum inhale exhale down inhale exhale down two inhale exhale down three inhale exhale down four right the next set is also focusing on the neck interlace your fingers place your palms on the back of your head and apply a pressure with your head on your palms and have a kind of a competition between your hands and heads right you push your hands back with your head and try to stop the head with the hands right now you can feel some nice tension in your neck right Try to elongate your neck and first allow hands to win by bringing your chin to the sternum, still maintaining a counter balancing force. Inhaling, allow the head to win. Exhaling down, inhaling up. Exhale down, inhale up, you can even bring your chin up and exhale, Put down, inhale, come up and exhale, slowly feel your neck is very light and strong. Now, hold uh, your elbows and inhale, exhale there, inhaling, pull your left elbow towards the right, opening up your left armpit. Exhaling, come to the center, inhale, open up your right armpit, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right? Okay, that was for your shoulders. Now, still we'll continue with the shoulders. Bring your fingertips over to your shoulder joints and make very large circles. Inhale as you go up, exhale as you come down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Reverse, inhale up, exhale down. Try to bring your elbows together so that you get a nice rotation on your shoulder blades and shoulder joints. Three, Four. Right. 
Next meaning shoulders. Now we worked on our neck, shoulders, and we are now getting on to elbows. Now elbows, wrists, joints, and fingers we are going to do with power, right? So uh, tighten up your muscles so that you feel some power in your hands, and with that power, rotate your elbows. Inhale as you extend. Exhale as you squeeze in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can see my hands are shivering because I am applying a lot of pressure. Exhale. Right now, wrist joints. Wrist joints are done same with some power. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Reverse. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Alright? Still maintaining that power. You should feel your forearms should be like rock hard. Alright? Inhale, spread your fingers out, exhale, clench. Inhale, out, exhale, clench. Inhale out, exhale, clench. Inhale out, exhale, clench. Now palms upwards. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So I'm doing four repetitions. You can extend to ten if that is going to be the only uh, uh, workout that you're going to do. Right? If you do four, it's good enough to warm your body up for yoga or any other session. Right? So we've gone through hands. What are the other main joints? Other main joint is not a joint, they're joints. They're joints along your vertebrae. Right? How do you work your vertebrae? It's just joints on your vertebrae. Is by twisting the body. Just relax your hands and let the hands wrap around your body. Exhale as you Twist, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This is quite nice, very comforting. Now, because you can't find left hand right here, you can do this eight reps. Okay, I didn't count there. That would have been around eight. Okay, now the hip, right? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now reverse. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right. So what are the other joints, next joints? So we did hip, now let's look at pelvic joints, right? This requires a little bit of balancing as well. Lift your leg up, okay? And keep going like this. One, two, three, four, then reverse. Inhale, exhale, two, three, four, all right? Now left leg. Inhale, one, two, three, four, reverse, one, two, three, four, right? You can lift your legs and give a nice twist like that. If you want to extend it, you can do like that also. Out in, in out, right? Um, now, from pelvic joints, you can go to knee joints. One, two, three, four, reverse. One, two, three, four. All right. Then we get on to ankle joints. You can choose either right or left. There's no hard and fast rule about it. Lift your leg. And as you stretch, inhale, exhale up, inhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
reverse. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Left leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, reverse. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Right? Next we move on to our toes. Toes too have important joints. So we're going to go on to tiptoes by stretching the body upwards. Inhale up, exhale down. 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 Because there's no right and left here, you can do eight reps here. Exhale down. Alright? Okay, that was the fountain of youth which where we worked all our joints. Uh, I want to combine uh, an exercise called Super Brain Yoga with Fountain of Youth. That would also complete this workout. Right? Super Brain Yoga. I'm not sure what is the origin of Super Brain Yoga. It is called Super Brain Yoga because it tends to balance your uh, right side and the left side of your brain. Right? They say uh, it will work wonders with uh, children with uh, special needs they can they, if they struggle to concentrate this uh, super brain yoga will help them to concentrate well even for you if you are forgetful and if you find it difficult to concentrate super brain yoga will help you uh, focus better it is so simple to perform it's like an old school uh, punishment right you first hold your right ear low with your left hand using the Thumb and the index finger, right over left, and uh, feet about uh, shoulder apart. Try to maintain your spine straight as possible. And inhaling, you go down into half squat. Exhaling, come up. Right? Let's see the profile. Inhaling down, exhaling up. It's recommended that you do uh, super brain yoga for 21 cycles. If you, uh, if your stamina is still developing, you can stop at your limit otherwise you can continue for 21 cycles hope you enjoyed this session with fountain of youth and super brain yoga have a great day thank you